class uh, it doesn't classify into this sub issue, but I, I put them into groups like the first group is is human related, which sometimes is not just human, but is human and data. Um, like human interaction that I previously mentioned many times, that it's at this time it still requires um, both domain and technical expert. Domain expert is the one who knows the problem of the data is not the maybe not the um, computer engineering guy. Like if you want to do something, the problem no don't want to set data mining task on financial issue. Maybe the domain expert is like the financial advisor, um, financial expert that knows all the detail about the data. And technical expert is something like we are that we we want to um, apply the data mining to that specific data set. Also, the interpretation. If um, even though we the data mining can the, the data mining the result of it is correct, but if we don't have the experienced user to interpret that result, it may be useless. So um, that is the second issue. And visualization, like we said, that good visualization tools help user to understand the result better, clearer, and discover the the pattern easier. Overfitting data, this one is not quite the human related, but I didn't I put it here. It should be okay. So that um, sometimes um, the designer put the training set. Th this this issue has a problem when we have a training set that doesn't reflect the real world data. That is the data that we want the um, the program, the data mining program to to apply against. So when we have the training set, that is one thing. Or another thing is when training set size is so tiny. Um, the result, the model, or maybe fit to the the training set, but not the generic data. So the accuracy will be reduced. Almost done. A few more pages. Okay. So about the data issue, this is okay. The first one you can see is not quite a database because database mostly is um, text and um, numerical data, but sometimes there are some branch of database that um, deal with multimedia data. And when you have um, different kind of data like multimedia, you have to treat it differently. The, the length of the field may be different. The way you deal with the way you access the meaning of the um, of each record may be different. So that is one issue. And actually, this one may be applicable to database as well. That we have to have a different ways to apply for the, the mechanism to access the data. And the, the second one is missing data. How can we miss? Um, no, no, we will miss some data because. We gather data from several sources, and that sometimes um, the quality this this is like the quality of the data is different. Sometimes they they have all the field without one, something like that. So how can we handle the missing data? Should we remove all of them? And then if ninety percent of the of the data set, I mean they. They have some attribute missing. Should we do that, or this is an I one issue? Another one is noisy data. The data that represent incorrect, um, incorrect information. So if this one is not the missing data. So how can we? It starts from how can we take noisy data? How can we remove it? And if we don't remove, this is gonna be. Um, yes, it's gonna affect the um, the final pattern. It may or it may not depending on the the number of um, 
noisy data right if there is one noisy or one missing data in one million records we may not have to care about that outlier outlier is um, some correct data but it doesn't behave like if friends like the attribute may be different a lot different than the order so how can we deal with that one changing data this one has a problem in database a lot like um, the, da- the tra- operational data they have a lot of changes like um, the address of the employee for example if they move they change if they change the cell phone they change the number for example like that so how can we deal but for the data mining application usually it is not operational it deals with non-operational data so it is pretty much static but sometimes there are some changes as well but this one is not quite a big issue and a relevant data like this one is like in the few previous slide that we have to remove them because they are relevant next is the that still the issue of in data mining but in the complexity so one thing that the complexity become the issue is because most of the data uh, data mining has a large data set so it introduced like scalability problem some algorithm work so well in when the data is small like it doesn't scale well how can we apply or um, change the algorithm that it scales well with the large data or how can we use the um, distributed system for example to um, speed up the execution time or how can we sample the data set if it's possible to sample the data set without losing accuracy or losing a little accuracy this is an issue in, in the data mining and you can see that this this half issue in a large data set it is the same thing in statistic so data mining actually inherits some issue some problem from from the, the fields that it involves um, the the next one is high dimensionality high dimensionality is the headache my old headache because I hear this word so much um, someone is um, somebody in the 60s 1960s or 1950s coined the word the curse of dimensionality he is um, a statistician guy if I if this is not correct uh, if this I think this is correct but I'm I'm not 100% sure the curse of dimensionality means um, when we introduce one more dimension usually the algorithm that apply with that particular problem t- um, will take extra time exponentially the, 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 the running time will go exponential so it's like if we have five dimension of data we change to six it double them the running time if we change to seven it quadruple quadruple the running time so in real world one dimension correspond to one attribute and you can see easily see that in some applications there are, there are hundreds of attributes how can we deal with that so maybe we just ignore some of them we whatever and the last one about the complexity is integration at the end we need to integrate this the whole process to other system just like um, we need to connect that to the database system so that we can get the output of the database as an input of the data mining process we need to export the model to the pa- um, the visualization visualization system so that somebody can um, interpret the graph for example this uh, like example of integration 
So how can this 